So they've met their match in Carlos Contas as they have with us. Today Carlos went to an L.A. court to face felony charges and to enter a plea of not guilty. All these charges deal with things like guns, but like other Minnesotans, Carlos has for years held illegal, legal permits for guns. The charges against Carlos carry a total of up to 18 years, and they are aimed at his effective political organizing against war and for people's civil rights. And he is being targeted, not because he has actually committed a crime, but because of his activism, and particularly his connections to the movement right here in the Twin Cities. I cannot be silent as he defends himself against these trumped up political charges. He has been an important voice for building unity between the anti-war movement and the immigrant rights movement, and now we will unite in standing behind him. Carlos is a longtime Chicano activist known for his leadership in the education walkout movements of the 1968, the historic Chicano moratorium against the U.S. war in Vietnam, and the immigrant rights mega marches of 2006. Students for a Democratic Society at the University of Minnesota strongly condemns the FBI and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department for the violent raid and charges brought against Carlos Montes. We stand in solidarity with Montes, as well as the other activists targeted in the ongoing investigation of anti-war and international solidarity activists. Documents released regarding the raid show unmistakably the connection between the raid and charges against Carlos and the ongoing investigation and harassment of peace activists across the Midwest. STS recognizes that the documents taken from Carlos's home, including his computer, cell phone, and hundreds of personal documents have nothing to do with his charges regarding a firearms code. I want to say one very brief thing about Carlos Montes. He deserves to be free. He should not be, uh, he should be able to oppose the wars that are taking place in this country, uh, by this country around the world, and he does not deserve to be harassed by the very government and the very uh, uh, agency that is designed or is supposedly supposed to be defending the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Uh, I know where I am. I'm on the St. Paul side of Lake Street, or Marshall, and I know that all of you who are here, or many of you who are here, have been marching and demonstrating at this spot, spot for, for decades, if, uh, for, for, for years, if not decades. All right, and I know that you all are very much in support of the, the struggle for, uh, for democratic rights and to end the harassment by the FBI because many of you have also been uh, victims of that same kind of harassment uh, over the years. FBI repression is time to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! FBI repression is time to go! I'm really new in the struggle. So for me it's really important to see people like you who've been fighting for years, for decades, for, for me it's really important because I know that will be my future. I can see my future right now. Today, as a member of MIRAC, we are here in solidarity with our brother Carlos Montes, who's being attacked by the, by, by the FBI. It doesn't matter where we come from. It doesn't matter what language we speak. If we are fighting, we are fighting in the same side. We are fighting against the repression the U.S. bringing to our countries, to Middle East countries, and even to the United States itself. And what's your name? Alex. Alex. This is, is very disturbing. I mean, here's someone who has been a part of making sure that our country is a democratic place where people have freedom of expression and what what happens to him as a result is is he's he's repressed and attacked so things have been going okay I'm glad to have a chance to be out here today to support Carlos uh, Montes uh, he's someone that I whose work I respect greatly and I know that he's being attacked uh, really because of his involvement with the anti-war movement here in the Twin Cities and so We're doing okay and I think if it hasn't been for the um, the support of the community it would have been a lot harder but the the ongoing support of people has made this um, 
tolerable. <laughs> and um, and I hope the community, the support keeps coming, and uh, we're going to stay strong. As long as the people are behind us, we're going to be here. So. I think today's action was really beautiful. I think it's great that people across the country are turning out for Carlos the way that they've turned out for us, and I think it's important that people see the connection between these cases, because I think that the FBI wants to pick people off and make people feel alone and isolated so that they can squelch dissent, and I think that our unity makes it more difficult.